My son, the world we see on the outside is a show. It is only an example. Our mind is the world. The angles in the mind are what we see as curves and angles in the outside world. If each of us would straighten the angles within himself, the world would appear straight. The Sheikh says, Son, the mind is a big picture world. The intellect stores in the mind what we see in this thought world. Moment by moment, the intellect presents this picture in the mind as feeling, awareness, dreams, and thoughts. What the feeling and perception taken at one time, the intellect shows and explains later in the world of the mind. If you analyze with wisdom, you will realize that you are seeing what was seen by and stored in the mind. When you realize that it is only a picture and throw it away, and if you can find the true explanation which is seen by wisdom, you will see God who is wisdom within wisdom. This picture that you have is not Jesus. This picture of art is not Jesus. This picture of the person who performed the role of Jesus is not Jesus. This Bible is not Jesus. These are all poetry or songs. But there is another Bible. That Bible is here, within. Jesus is not a picture. He is a light. He is here. That is a ray. It is a thing that has no picture at all. Each child, open your heart and invite your father to come there. He is not a picture. He is a light. Invite him here. See him here. Open this church here. Search the wisdom within it. Light that light and then see your father there. The secret of man is within God. Man is a subtle secret of God. For man, God is a mysterious and subtle secret. Man is within God, and God is within man. The treasury of the truth of God is within man. Creation is within man. Grace is also within man. The entire story of God is within man, and the story of man is within God. We need to reflect on this. All the powers, all the 18,000 universes, the secrets of the kingdom of God and the secrets of the kingdom of hell exist within man. The spotlessly pure church of God and the impure church of the evils of hell are the two different types of churches where worship is performed. The impure church of hell is where mind worships and enjoys the taste of maya, or illusion. The pure, resplendent wisdom worships within that divine grace of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the place of prayer to our Father. If these two explanations are understood, then man can realize peace. All the created things you see on the outside has been created by him to enable you to understand him. All the animals visible on the outside exist within you. Within your body are many worlds and millions of creations. 
All the creations of all the worlds are within you. All the creations visible on the outside are seen within as shadow forms, as energy forms, as cell forms, as demonic blood-sucking forms, or as beastly forms. You must become king of justice for that world, making God's justice into the justice of your rulership and bringing forth that justice to rule all the animals within you. Truth does exist. It is the power of Allah. You cannot learn it from a book, nor can you understand it through the visions of your eyes. If you wish to understand the power, you must know that there is a Qur'an and a Shaykh of wisdom within you. It is with his wisdom that you must open your kalp, your innermost heart. Read the inner Qur'an and understand the benevolence of grace. But until you attain that state, you must find a Sufi Shaykh on the outside, ask him, and learn. And no matter what people may say, every story and every word of the Qur'an is contained within the Qalb, the inner heart of every man. If everyone who is human opens his heart and looks within, he will understand that story. He will see and be able to read the history of all three worlds in the divine scripture called the Holy Qur'an. The innermost heart is the Qur'an. If we reflect on this, we will realize the true state of our lives. We will realize what Allah is like and what prayer and worship must be like. My precious children, if we want to discover ourselves, our Lord, His history, and our history, we must open the Qur'an which exists within the innermost heart, the Qalb. It does not appear in any book. It does not appear in any writing. It exists as a resplendent light in the Qalb. It exists as a sound and a revelation within the Qalb. It exists as a resonance within the Qalb, giving explanations. Only if we have wisdom and the absolute faith called Iman can we understand the explanations. When we understand, we will never die. One who understands is a Sufi. My very precious children, jeweled lights of my eyes, it is impossible for us to see the Qur'an in its totality. The Qur'an and the revelations within it which came from God have been explained by the prophets. The sound must be kept inside not merely carried in our hands as books. The books certainly can be in our hands, but the sounds and the explanations and the resonances must stay within our hearts. The inner Qur'an, the inner Bible, and the inner scriptures are Allah's commandments. The books in our hands can be consumed by fire, water, or air. But when God's words of wisdom are imprinted on our hearts, that is the Qur'an, that is the Bible, that is the scriptures, and nothing can consume them. This is the truth. Son, you must not find fault with any of God's creations. You must realize that the center is within you. If you open your wisdom, stand in the center, and look intently at yourself, you will understand the point. Do not waste your time trying to analyze other people. If you look at others and try to figure out what they are like, everything will go wrong, because each person sees his own faults in others. You must try to see your own faults within yourself. If you recognize your faults and force them to leave you, you will not find fault with anyone else. When your photograph is taken, the shadow of your image goes onto the paper. 
If you had not been there, would your shadow have gone onto the film? No. There would be no photograph. Is that not so? Like that, the faults you see in others are faults you have within yourself, and they are destroying you. You must look within yourself with your wisdom and throw away all your faults. Stand in the center, look with wisdom into your house, and throw away the quality of fault-finding. The fault-finding thoughts of your mind are biting you like mosquitoes and drinking your blood. Chase them away, and you will be free. It is useless to be finding faults with others. Correct your own faults instead. O oh man, if you open your heart and look within, you will understand your inner secrets.